According to the Bible, y'all's word, it says there's a time and a season for everything. Hello, I'm Paul and Shrill. Welcome again to Rock. Simple question. What season and what time do you think this is? Is this the time and the season to be playing games? Or is this the time and the season to be taking everything with the utmost seriousness? Now, I'm not saying that there's ever a time to not take things seriously. You know what I'm saying? There's, 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 there's times in life where you may, you know, if you if you run your, your, your house on a... Um, on a, an awareness alert level, you know, you, depending on what, you know, colors you use, you know, in most cases, uh, red being usually the most extreme and then green not being not so extreme. Things are, are, are good. And depending on where you are is where you up your safety levels, your protocols for your household. Are we in a time of, we'll just use a uh, green or uh, uh, blue, green, um, yellow, orange, red, and then black. Are we in a blue situation, which is everything's just, hey, fun and hunky-dory and enjoy life and do your thing without any ramifications or repercussions or thinking about, you know, anything? Or are we in more of a orange, red, black, yellow, green? I mean, you, 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 you answer in the comment section. What, where do you think we are? As far as your alert level. And I'm saying that because, see, people today play games. And, you know, it's alarming that despite the fact of what you see going on, and you can even line up a lot of these things up with biblical prophecy. You could say, hey, you know, people can make the argument that, hey, we're about to take the next level of things going down, the pathway to, to shit. Things are about to get worse. And they are. You know, the Fed raise rates. So people with these adjustable rate mortgages are about to get screwed again. And then they're, they're going to raise it again and again and again. And people with these credit cards and all this debt, they're, they're going to get slammed even more. You know, when people are paying, let's say, the mortgage on an apartment building and they raise rates, well, that means their payments for that apartment building could go up, which means what's going to happen to your rent? It could go up. So that and we have war and we have food scarcity and we have uh, uh continuing reports coming in of, of, of bad harvests um another oil refinery blew up i mean they're marching us being the, the, the big they the system is marching us to where they want us to be and you still see people just playing games like <laughs> like nothing's happening I'm not saying it's not a time and a, and a season to have some fun. I mean, we do it here all, all, often. We take time, we work very hard so that we can play very hard. But we've had to, you know, as far as our playing goes, uh, taper down on some of the things that we're able to do because, or that we want to do, places that we want to go, things we want to see, because the world's just changing. It's just changing. You know, the sisters have, have been here on the property working and, and they see what's going on in the news and they really don't want to go out there. And for most of y'all men that have children, you know what it's like to be out there with their children and your family. You know, your, your awareness is that an, is that a, 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 an uber highness. You know, you're figuring out things before, you know, like for myself, before I go somewhere, if I take the family, I'll go and do a recon in that area. I'll do a recon in a damn store before we go there. Because you just don't know what's going to happen. You just don't know what's going to happen. You don't know where the exits are in places and things like that. This is just not the environment to be playing games to be bullshitting. But some people are. Spiritually, it's not the time to be bullshitting. It's not the time to be playing games. Hey, some people still are. And what that does is they know, and I'm appreciative of those that, that, that are very verbal and very honest about where they are and what they're doing because that allows me to figure out am I going to invest in that person, that friendship, that brotherhood, that sister, or am I not going to? Am I, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, as, a, as an individual, you have to bring value to a friendship. You have to bring value. You have to bring, be an asset to the people that are around you. 
it can't be a always operating at a deficit. You, you know, you always need something from people. You always need to be borrowing. Who wants to? Be, who wants that friend? That friend is always needing to borrow money. Your friends are always, always need your help. The friend that always needs, and you, you know, you don't mind being there for that person. But eventually, what you find out is that's kind of what you are. You're the you're you're that person's personal payday payday advance payday loan advance place. You know, people e-begging and sending email after email of, can you send me money? Can you send me money? I'm like, dude, you've been asking me for three years to send you money. For three years, you've been doing the same shit to the point where you have no, no, nothing's changed in your situation. You have not bettered yourself. You see, those that play the game eventually find out that they are pawns. Those that are playing games and eventually find out that they are pawns in the game. You aren't as valuable as you think you are because you are just a pawn. And what you'll find out is value, you give yourself value. Y'all already did pay, the, uh, sure already paid the price. So, you know, you see a lot of people say, well, I should have paid it all and I'm valuable because he paid the price. No. You're valuable because you walk in his ways. You walk in the ways of Yah. You understand what the meaning of, of the death of Yahshua is. You know, Hebrews 10, 26. For if we sin willfully after we have received knowledge of the truth, there is no more sacrifice for sins. Which means the blood of Yahshua, it no longer covers your sins if you sin willfully after you have received the knowledge of the truth. We got people still playing games. Yeah, people still acting like almost like the truth has never hit them. Oh, they speak real well, real well, and they you know say things. But when you look at their physical life, nothing changes. It's the same thing over and over and over again. And like I said before in his book, when I read the book, you know, I see things and I see you know, Yah bless his people. Yah blesses people with foresight. He blesses people to prepare for bad times. He blesses people in in many ways and. To, to see where we are today is is baffling. To see where we are today is is, is it's numbing almost. You kind of look at it and you say, man, there's there's a lot of people that just don't care. They're still playing the game. They're playing their games with their families. They're playing games with their children. They're playing games with their lives. They're just playing games. Their walk with Yah is only words. It's only uh, uh, quoting or posting or or fantasizing about scripture, but the but the the works are not there. The doing is not there. They see, everyone skips that part. Badger, no. It's sad, and it's sad that so many people are going to be suffering. So many men are going to be suffering and dragging their family with them. As they suffer. It's not enough to suffer alone. Misery wants company. We want to we wanna go down. But we, we want to make sure that we've convinced somebody else to go down with us. I'm just sitting here right now. And I'm looking. At my goat. See that little one right there. She, he was just. Wait, wait, where is he at? Nope. Come back this way. That one. He was just born recently here. You know, I thank the Father, and I continually ask Him to make me a good steward. I continually ask Him to to give me the wisdom, because as times go down and as things get worse, you're gonna find out that all the games that you played, all it's all fun, until you get that game over, and you realize you have no more tokens to put in the arcade. And you watch that, you know, y'all remember the old school arcades, you know, where you you know you played and the game was over. And if you didn't have any more coins or tokens, you know, you'd watch that timer tick down until it hit zero. Then it said game over. And that was it. You can't. A lot of people are reaching that point. They're reaching the point where they're going to see that game over. And they're going to watch that timer tick down. And then they're going to realize you could have been one of, the, one of the five wise virgins instead of the five foolish virgins. You could have prepared. You see? Everything's a game until it's not. And usually what I've, you know, what a lot of people have found out, what I damn near found out in my life, is when it's no longer a game, wherever you are is where you are. 
you better be ready for where you are, for the decisions. And I just, you know, I could not, as a as a father, as a husband, I could not live through this life and sit back and realize that game over meant that my children didn't have food, that my ch- my 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 the sisters didn't have food, my wives didn't have food, that they didn't have covering, they didn't have clothing, they didn't have the provisions that they needed. I didn't want game over to, to hit and, and for me to realize that all the shit that I've been talking, I ain't done. All the book reading that I've uh, done, it didn't, it didn't amount to anything. All the scriptures that you study didn't amount to anything. Because at the end of the day, they're going to be suffering just like everybody else. See, game over means the game is over. It means you now have to eat the fruit of your ways. How funny is that going to be? When the fruit of your ways is empty because you've done nothing with what you have. You've done nothing but talk. Sad, sad, sad time we are coming to. And what's even sadder is the amount of people that we have asleep that say they're in the truth. They're asleep. They're not awake. And they're going to be stuck in situations and many of us are going to be able to say, man, your blood is on your own head, on your own head now. This is on you. It's not on us. It's not on the community. It's not on the fellowship. It's not on other brothers. This is on the decisions that you have made. One way or another, we all got to eat the fruit of our ways. So you can go ahead and keep playing games. Just make sure that you have a uh, a fork and a spoon and your bib on for when it's time to eat that fruit. As we are, as, as we, uh, you know, a lot of people say to a lot of other people in situations like this, keep that same energy. Keep that same bullshit energy when the shit comes down. Bless y'all. Have a blessed fifth day. We got, uh, uh, Trumpets coming up. He said, Trumpets coming up. And then atonement. Hallelujah. And then tabernacles. Bless you all again. Shalom.